Okay, today I have my F330 quad that a friend of mine gave me and it was in such disrepair I decided to strip the whole thing down and start all over again so um, what I did was um, I stripped everything off of it the only thing I kept were the motors and the frame so everything is new uh, I've got new ESC's um, new propellers on it the flight control board is a CC3D and a new distribution board I also put on an attachment here so that um, I could add uh, accessories and one of my favorite things to put on is uh, a light so when I'm doing line of sight flying I can actually see what it's doing but basically I built this for my self to do my first FPV quad without having my friends put it together for me so oh yeah and I got a lemon satellite receiver these seem to be working pretty good so today is the test flight of it and we're gonna see how well it works I was having problems getting it to um, throttle up but a friend of mine, Charlie, who's always my helper, gave me a, a link on YouTube to figure that part out. So today, let's see how it works. We're going to find out. And it is a little bit windy out here, so this might not be a good time to do this, but I've been absolutely dying to get this thing to go in. Okay, we got throttle hole on. The other thing, too, is I couldn't get a flight mode set up on the switch here so I'm not sure if this thing is going to be in self level mode or or rate mode but we're going to find out uh, okay here's that big honking light that you're going to see come on when I plug this battery up and I was using that on my uh, my 450 quad and there's that light bro oh yeah okay let's go find out what this thing is gonna do that's for sure this is gonna be interesting Yeah, so far so good. He's pretty stable. Hey, I think we got a winner here. I got a big 220 battery on here, so I should say a 2200. But I'm probably going to put on a 1300 or something. So that might be a little bit heavy for this thing. Well, I'm not sure. Let's see what the yaw is like. Ah, not bad. It's kind of actually, uh, it's just going to be for like uh, doing video work because I don't have a good platform for that. And uh, since my 450 crash, I don't have anything big and stable. This might work out pretty good. Okay, let me get away from my truck and the sun. pretty good okay it's in rate mode because it is not self leveling so that might be pretty good 
I know I'd be pretty good. I normally have uh, orange and green props for orientation, but they were out of the green props, so uh, once I get that down, if I do any line of sight flying, that also helps too, to know that one particular color is one way. I'm kind of keeping it in close so we can see what's going on with it. But yeah, we're in rate mode. That's good though, it's holding steady. It's doing real good. Maybe I don't need self level. Well, I want to have that on there in case I'm doing uh, videotaping. Holding up pretty good in the wind. Oh yeah. The wind's buffeting it a little bit. Man, if you really need a light to see your stuff, that light right there works really good. It works really good. Okay. I'm impressed. It's doing really well. It's doing really well. Let's see how stable it is. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the wind or what. It's probably the wind. Yeah, the retina is into the wind. That's pretty stable. I'm very pleased with this. It looks like all the settings are perfect. Okay. Whoa, the wind's got to go in there. Okay, that's a five minute flight. So let's put her down. Find a spot that's not so dusty. Okie dokie. Throttle cut, and she did marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Okay. Safety first. Oh, here's the part I hate. Okay, I think we did good on the first flight. I'm very pleased. Now all I gotta do is fix my uh, FPV camera up. I'm waiting for a part on that. And when I get that in, it's gonna go where this light is. I'm gonna put the light up here. And then underneath here, I'm gonna put the, the run cam. So this should work out pretty good. Okay, that's it for today. Bye.